My name is James Nugent, and I'm a computer science major. The year is 2016, and they're after me. I need to get my story out. I've learned a lot over the past six weeks, things I never thought I'd learn, and, well, here's what I've learned about the difficulty and importance of technical communication. It's so important that you can I, communicate your ideas with teammates, with other people, so people know what you're doing, so they can work on the right thing at the right time, and your project isn't stagnate because, because the database team doesn't know what the front end team is doing, and they send each other the wrong information. And it's far more difficult than I could have ever imagined to be able to take something highly technical and transform it into a small package of words that anyone can understand. But it is something that we must all do for the CS as an industry to grow so that the flow of ideas can expand and communication can, is the bedrock that the foundation of all computer science relies on so that new technologies can be created. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, th I think I'm safe now. But... But there's something you need to know. Presentations. Presentations are way harder as a team than they are individually. Because you don't know what someone will say. You don't know what their strengths as a presenter are. And sometimes people really struggle with presentations. And, and I found that it was a very difficult part of the semester, this end, because I consider myself to be quite good at presentations. And I excel at being able to communicate in front of a group. But sometimes you, you can't plan if your teammates are going to have stage fright or they're going to get anxiety having to talk in front of people. And the amount of practice that they're going to have to put into it is something that I wasn't prepared for. And, and you need to be prepared for that when, when it's your turn. I don't have much time left, but I need to tell you, I need to tell you what my biggest strengths and weaknesses were in my classes. Uh, from, from the computer science standpoint, my biggest strength was definitely my ability to just sit down and get through a coding assignment. I, I'm comfortable with APIs and I'm comfortable looking up online the resources that I need to help me complete a certain task. Uh, but my weaknesses definitely come with my technical knowledge. I don't have the years of experience that a lot of my peers do, and that starts to really show when I don't intuitively know and understand how perhaps a new system works. Uh, when it comes to my technical communications part, uh, my strength was my ability to talk on the spot, my ability to improvise confidently, whereas my weakness comes from lack of preparation sometimes. My confidence in my ability to improvise really lets me down, because I don't necessarily say everything that I want to say, I just say with the first thing that comes into my head. What really changed my perspective this semester was that it's so important for CS professionals to communicate technically for their ideas to be spread. It's like any other science, we have to be able to communicate. And, and my passion for artificial intelligence, I, if I want that to grow as an industry the way that I do, I need to be able to take my findings and, and share them with people in a way that anyone can understand, whether they are a game intelligence designer or a systems analyst at anything, because intelligence has so many applications. But, but before I go, I need to, one final warning. Intelligence might have many applications, but it just has a lot of negative side effects, like these robots that are after me now. I think I hear one coming. No. No. No.